Over the weekend, we did have some chilly temperatures with highs in the 20s and the 30s. And today it's significantly colder than it was over the weekend. For most of today, we've only been in the single digits and the teens. And that's where we are currently right now with the coldest temperatures in north central Montana. We also did have some snow around yesterday, some snow around overnight. We've had some scattered areas of snow around throughout the day today as well. And since we have had that snow around, roads are slick and or snow covered in a lot of central and north central Montana. So please be careful. Careful if you are going to be traveling anywhere this evening or overnight tonight. These are some of the road conditions from earlier this evening before the sun did set. McDonald Pass, you can see the roads are definitely slick. Boulder Hill as well as down at the Idaho Montana border. We've been dealing with very low visibility today as well as blowing snow and snow covered roads. So you've definitely wanted to use extreme caution if you have been traveling in those areas. And same thing on Rogers Pass road conditions are not that great. Again, just be careful if you are going to be traveling anywhere overnight tonight or during the day tomorrow. Now as we go through tonight, we are going to have cloudy to mostly cloudy skies and there will continue to be some snow around tonight, but a lot of the snow that we see tonight will be in central and southern portions of Montana and within north central and central Montana. Most of the light snow that we do see is going to occur early on tonight with that snow then shifting into southeast Montana as we head into the second half of tonight. And then for tomorrow, we are going to have decreasing clouds. So we're actually going to clear out and see a good amount of sunshine, especially as we head into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. We are going to be dry in central and north central Montana tomorrow, but there will be some snow around in the Dakotas as well as far eastern Montana. And then as we head into tomorrow night, we'll continue to have snow around in eastern Montana throughout the night. And that snow will become a little bit heavier as the night does go on. In central and north central Montana, we'll have increasing clouds throughout the night tomorrow night with some snow starting to work its way into north central Montana late tomorrow night. And then as we go through Wednesday, an Alberta Clipper is going to work its way through our area. So we are going to have areas of light to moderate snow around throughout the day on Wednesday as that Clipper does pass through, but it's a very fast moving system. So you'll see snow for a few hours, but then once that snow does pass through, you will dry out and see mostly cloudy skies. And in terms of how much snow accumulation you can expect as we go through the next few days, Overnight tonight, most of the snow accumulation will be in central and southern Montana, where coating to a couple inches is possible. And then during the day tomorrow, no snow accumulation in central and north central Montana, but will continue to pile up that snow, especially in southeastern Montana, potentially over a half a foot in Miles City by this time tomorrow evening. And then as we head into Wednesday, that's when we'll see it coating the three inches within central and north central Montana as that clipper passes through. And the snow is really going to pile up Tuesday night and Wednesday in eastern Montana with far eastern Montana and the Dakotas receiving over a foot of snow accumulation in spots. We also do have winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings in effect for eastern Montana. These go in effect tomorrow morning. And they remain in effect until early Thursday morning. Under the warnings, that's where 6 to 12 inches of snow accumulation is expected under advisories up to 6 inches of snow accumulation. The advisories within southern and southwestern Montana will expire as we go through tonight. And this is a large storm system that's going to be impacting a lot of the western U.S. You can see winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories as far south as Arizona and New Mexico and a blizzard warning for eastern Wyoming and then portions of the Dakotas as well as Nebraska and Colorado. Tonight, a cold night. Lows are going to be in the single digits above and below zero for many of us. High temperatures tomorrow will be in the teens and the 20s, so it is going to be a little bit warmer than it was today, but still another cold day. For most of the next week, highs will be in the teens and the 20s with that snow around on Wednesday and Thursday. More snow possible this weekend. And then an Arctic outbreak is expected early next week. Sub-zero high temperatures in a lot of north central Montana. In Helena, highs in the 20s for the next few days with snow on Wednesday and Thursday, and then it will be a lot colder come Sunday and Monday.